Okay. <sighs> We're here again. We're back. We're gonna do this. So today we're gonna be playing some more Final Fantasy Online. Um, I think where I last left off on here specifically, I was like getting towards the end of uh, blah, blah, blah. what's it? The base game main story, where it's like at the level fifty area. But since I'm trying to make sure I stick to advancing the story only when I'm playing with my friends. I'm going to focus on leveling other classes that I have available to me at the moment. And uh, I think, let's see, I know I haven't done the Thaumaturge and the Pugilist class, or the main two, and I haven't even started yet. I'm going to do the Thaumaturge today, because I'd rather sling spells than go around trying to punch, because Pugilist is really hard for me. It's a very difficult class, class to play. Well, I guess if you want to play it, like, at its peak. <laughs> and uh, I feel like it's one of those, uh, if you don't play it very well, it punishes you really hard. At least in my experience playing it. But yeah, I figured that's what I want to do today. So we're going to jump in. That's going to be a good time. Also, um... If anyone would like to, they are always well welcome to uh, party up with me. We can do dungeon stuff, you know, go grind out levels, whatnot, hang out, have a good time, you know, that fun stuff. So, yeah, let's jump into it, shall we? And then we go this way. There. Also, I forgot to check. Uh, I'll double check if my thingy's working. Because there's been times where it didn't. So I'm gonna try. Is this working? No! This is Patrick! Oh. Okay, seems like it's working, so. Cool. I had to make sure. Oh, yeah. What am I doing this for? What I can. That teleport over there. All right, thaumaturge. The thermometers. Okay. Yeah, everything's all good there. Okay, I was worried for a second. I was like, did I miss something? Welcome to the Thaumaturge Guild. Feet that guys your steps here, friend. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I wanna join. This is Bella Dia. Oh. Secrets of these illustrious sorcerers are ultimately trusted to the priests of the Order of Naldal, who have passed them down from generation to generation ever since. Focused and refined over centuries of use in the Order's funeral rites, the arcane magics of our ancestors eventually emerged as the art we now know as Thaumaturgy. Okay. Freezing blizzard to halt corruption, a raging fire to cleanse the corpse, a bolt of lightning to expel the sins of mortal life. Wow. Uh, the Dwemers employed in the preparation of the dead are equally efficacious when applied to living. Thus does our guild thrive in the depths of Arzenith Ossuary, a sanctuary devoted to Thal, the divine arbiter of it, to the afterlife. Okay. What well, say you then, Venger? If you'd plumb the abyssal depths of Thaumaturgy, let our learned sages guide your descent. Ah, but before you leap into darkness, you prove to our guildmasters that you're possessed of the spiritual fortitude necessary to look upon that which waits therein. When you're ready to submit to the judgment of our most eminent mages, say the word. Okay. Uh, we join our guild, or do you presume to ignore the urgings of impatient destiny? <laughs> um. A wise decision indeed. To prepare your initiation, I would have you study the volumes of fundamental thaumaturgical principle, all 108 of them. Or at least, I would, 
such requirements had not been abolished. Too great of a deterrent to fresh novices, they said. I suppose you shall just have to settle for calling upon the collective wisdom of our guild masters. We have five, you see, all brothers of the same house. Though they all wield supreme authority, it is the eldest who provides a singular voice for the guild when one is required. Master Coco, Kokubi, Coco Bigo, I believe. <laughs> they all have similar names. Even better. Let's just go down to Kokomo. Who? What? Oh, doll's teeth, man. Did your mother never tell you not to start on the thaumaturge? Okay. Look at that expected face, Coco Bigo. This gentleman is obviously a new applicant for the guild seeking audience with their eldest brother. Wait, how do we pronounce that? Yayak? Yeah. She can recite the 300 and some verses of the funerary rites of the virtuous fallen, but the simple task of keeping our names straight seems ever beyond her grasp. Well, I, for one, the confusion endlessly entertaining. My apologies, good sir. My merit was not meant to mock your mistake. It is our sibling, Kokobuki, with whom you would speak. What's this? Thal has led us a new aspirant? He? Where are you the entire time? Greetings, child. I'm Kokobuki, the eldest, and I would venture to say the wisest of the five masters of the Thaumaturgist Guild. It is my solemn duty to furnish our would-be initiates with succinct understanding of our beloved art. Thus so I'd have your fullest attention. Yeah, this game's pretty addicting for me. I can understand, like, falling off and just being like, eh, I just can't anymore. <laughs> it sucks a lot. To wield thaumaturgy is to unleash devastation of the highest magnitude. The lethal force of our spells far exceeds the destructive capability of any other form of arcade manipulation. Okay. Fire, lightning, blizzard, somnolence, the thaumaturge calls upon all expansive arsenal of offensive incantations to incapacitate and obliterate all manner of adversaries. Open your mind to the sorcerer's teachings and you, too, shall hold the unparalleled power of our discipline in the palm of your hand. Who is this? I don't know. Who are you? Wait, hold on. I gotta do this for dramatic effect. Who are you? Who is the... Anyway. Monster Hunter Stories 2. That's awesome. I heard it's a pretty good game. But yeah, I am a beard man. Of course, such power has a price. You must be willing to plunge headfirst into the forbidden chasm of thaumaturgy secrets. Our advancement in this art comes only with the completion of deadly and terrible trials. I only just started. I ask you now, Asper, are you prepared to leap into the abyss and pursue the power unrightable? Well, I guess I've been playing for a while, but I only just started this trim. I just got my white mage class up to level 50. Yeah, I'm prepared to leap into the abyss. Take me to the void. A confident response. Your name, if you will? Very well, Snitch Bob. <laughs> Let us mark your initiation with three eminently practical gifts. My first gift to you shall be your addition to your hunting log. Names of such enemies that will provide suitable to your training as a thaumaturge. The second and third gifts are the scepter and shield, instruments you shall need to focus the destructive force of your will. Did you believe your initiation over? My dear disciple, we've only just begun. Take your new weapons in hand and I will set you forth upon your first trial. Okay. Okay. I got this case. Thaumaturge unlocked. Right, let's make sure my gear set's updated. Yeah. And there we go. Shablam. Uh, do I have anything that I can wear at this level? Okay, I do have a few things. I'm not completely without, thank god. I need this. I want my dead jeans. Hell yeah. 
All right. Explosion! There. That's the gear set ready. Now I get to talk to this dude again. I'm on my jeans. I'm ready. The sifter well compliments the avid desire for destructive power written upon your features. Now, we shall complete your initiation over the trial to test the limits of your aptitude for channeling thaumaturgy. Huge hornets, star marmots, and snapping shrews inhabit this land in abundance. Exercise your sorcerer's bite and slay three of each of these creatures before returning to my side. Okay. I need to get my mount. Where is my mount? There's my mount. There we go. Let's see, and I think all these are just outside, yeah? Yeah, over here in the central. What about... Ugh. What about over on the western side? Is there more of them over there? No. Oh yes, they're all in central. You're a level 10 rogue. All the crafting. Alright, so central, I need. I think it's the gate of Nal. Or steps of Nal. Yeah, gate of Nal. Anyway. Well, if you ever want to party up at some point, Kyo, and do the story and stuff, let me know. I'm just going to be vibing for now until then. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Get him. Oh, so they're starting me with Blizzard. Oh, man. I want my fire. Yay! Yeah, I, I know how my thing works. That hornet just got wrecked. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The more you cast a one spell, the more effective it is. Uh, more blizzard means more MP regen. More fire means more fire damage, but more MP cost. Yes! Now I can do my stance dance. No! Oh, I ran out of time! That's fine. Yeah, more fire, more fire. Oh, fire! I am not in a free company speed, because I like being a free agent. No, I do want all the explosions, though. I want. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that one. There you go. Aww, that's awesome. Also, I can understand why, though, because this game is like addicting. I bet.
Let's see, what thingies do I need? Little ladybug. Oh, of course, they're on the other side. Of course they are. Dude, right? Them dad jeans. I love them. Okay, what will be easier, I think, is if I go back in this way and I use the crystal to put me on the other side. That way I don't have to drive all the way around everything. Because now, dear friends, it is where I get to do the grindiest of the grind, where I fill out my hunting log and get all the XP. I guess I could just level up real quick. I'm like literally a sliver away, so I might as well go turn in the quest and do that part first. Get the next step of the quest. Yeah, I only need 20 experience, okay. I love my dad jeans, though. Uh, yeah, 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 uh-huh. I know, as I learn, I'll be able to do more grand and awesome things. And I'm looking forward to that. The first chapter. Oh, yeah. I kind of meant to be reading this. Oops. With a lot of the other... Um... Actually, no. I have done all this before. He just has you, like, basically learn from different chapters of this one book that they all revere as, like, their basically mage bible. And they're all like, in this chapter it talks about this. And it's just like, okay. And then you go do what they ask, and you come back and they're like, so did you feel the power of this chapter? And you're like, um, yeah. I had to put things to sleep, and then I had to, like, sneak by them? Was, was that what you wanted? And they're like, yes know that there's some enemies that are too strong and then at the end they're like this thing's too strong but if we work together then we're stronger than it and it's like yes oh no my thingy's like covering over my uh my quest log. Hang on, gotta fix my layout. Hold up. There we go. Save. There we go. I forgot that the thermometer is like one of the classes that uh, starts with its own class gauge. <clears throat> Most of them you have to like wait till you're at your promoted stage before you like get this little kind of thing going on. Okay. Uh, Western, that's what it was. I have some ladybugs and some cactuses. Or cacti, I should say. That I need to go beat the crap out of. No, I want to clear this phone notification. Get out of here. Oh, yes. I guess this is where I had to go anyway, so whatever. Alright. Little ladybug. You better get fucked up. Gah. Uh. Let's see, I got enough for one more. Na, 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 na. Oh, yeah. Switch. No. Then. Get him. Back him up. I don't know why I don't just click on the one I'm aiming for. Hmm. 
Alright, I'll take care of that. Those guys are on the other side. Hammerlay, Hammerlay. Okay. So he's gonna get the Yarzon and the Coblin over here. Eh. Yeah! I'm gonna wear these dad jeans forever, though. No matter what I'm doing. Dad jeans for life. Eh. Someone's working on this fate. I guess I could help them. Okay, I was gonna be like, there's gotta be at least one more. Take that! Woo! Free experience! Alright, well, there's these stupid coblins. Get him, Luna! Yeah, she's trying. She's giving it her best. Ah, shit. I should have been cast in the other one. I don't want to lose this thing. Ah, yes. Aha. Step out of that. Da, 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 da. Yarzons. Where the fuck are they? Aren't they just over on this side? Yeah, there they are. Wait, no. Put the dot on them first. And then you start blasting them. Sweet. Takes care of that. And then the rest of these are all on the central side. Alright. So let's go take care of this stupid quest thing. I want you to learn about the details of the void. The void in which we draw all of our magic. Okay. Apparently multiple steps to this. What do you mean I'm below the recommended level for this? Fuck you, game. Let's see about that.
Da -da 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 -da. There, take that. Oops. Nope. Get out of that. Now yeah, we can do that. I gotta follow the dance steps. Then, hiya. These are the lives we'd love to lead. I mean, I guess it could have always been mean and made Luna into healer, just so I could be like, Healer, why didn't you adjust? Is it still saying that my contribution isn't weighing as heavily because I leveled during the fate instead of, you know, outside of it? As if so, then fuck you, game. You can't tell me how to live my life. the victory music. What's your deal? You don't make use of my destiny grants, are you? Cough up the fee then. There you go. Tender white meat suited for sautés. Tastes remarkably like chocobo. Oh. Nothing so tender as a bit of meat pummeled with wonton wizardry. Nice business. Nice doing business with the thaumaturge. Okay. Yeah. Gentlemen, you just slew himself a plump vulture. You'd be surprised at how many of these stuffed and really sorcerers end up sliced to ruins by a beak and talon. And that's, just, that's just not the sort of flesh I have a taste for, you understand? Yeah. My brothers, not again. I don't know either, dude. Oh, yeah. I forgot all the brothers had another one that didn't have magic. That the poor dude had to resort to alchemy. But he really, really wanted magic. So he was just like, I'm gonna find a way to get magic. And it goes sideways.
What I don't understand is why is this hall so gant dang huge? Ah, oh, welcome back, Snitch Bob. You seem to have done well. In both eyes and text, face appears unshredded. <laughs> it is truly the most terrible feeling to have one's casting interrupted by heinous injury. It's one of the easier trials, if you ask me. Keep well away from pointy, slashy, bashy things if you want to reach the end of an arcane utterance. That's just common sense. Fortune favors the fighter who flings fire from afar. I simply love the look of loathing leveled at me and by the distant duelist distressed by my deadly downpour. We thaumaturges excel at offense, but fail miserably at defense. Our most effective strategy is to topple our adversary with overwhelming force before they have a chance to respond. Honors for knights and dead mages. Stitch Bob, your studies appear to be progressing nicely. It won't be long before you dominate the battlefield as an avatar of sorceress destruction. Yeah. So it's true, Buki. You don't try to hide from me in Bio, Baigo, or Bani, or Vezi, or Boha. Oh, yeah, that's right, because they all start with Coco. What are you doing here? You promised. You promised you'd teach me next. Well, yes, of course we did, Boosie, but Stitch Bob here was most insistent. And once again, you brushed me aside and hoped that I abandoned my heart's desire. Why do you deny me? I hate all of you. <laughs> uh... Please, Boosie, you shouldn't say such hurtful things. You know how delicate Vigo is. <laughs> Uh, that was Kokobusi, our youngest brother. He so dearly wishes to become a thalmaturge like the rest of us, but it simply isn't possible. The poor boy's etheric levels are pitifully low. We thought we had convinced him to accept fate's cruel quirks when he entered the alchemist's guild, but he yet yearns to walk the path of thalmaturgy. Yes. Such is Kokobusi's determination that he spends all his waking moments experimenting with alchemical concoctions, seeking a method by which he can expand his capacity for arcane manipulation. <clears throat> well, this is obviously not your concern. Back to the abyss with you, young thermometer. And I mean that in the most encouraging manner possible. Uh... Frick. I can't remember. Do I have... Where's my inventory? Armory chest. Can I look at that? Uh... Okay, so I do have a robe. I don't have any gloves. Well, all I have is the robe. <laughs> well, that's not going to help much. Guess I'll take the hat then. glamour back on. Oh yeah. Uh and I'm just shy of my next thing. Alright. Let's see. Well I guess we can hit level ten and then we can go back and go get more armor. Black brush and the clutch. Alright. I'm attuned to everything I need. Where are you? Blackbrush Station. Whee! Let's -a go! Yeah. My mm, bad. Mm. And then I think once I hit level 15, is it? 16. 
Then I can start doing the level grind in dungeons while I'm doing my hunting log. Okay, so... Where are you? Light rush. That's right, the rest of these are all nearby. So. Oh, cool. Hopefully you're right there. Yeah, take that. Uh, there should be just some random ones around here, yeah? Yeah! Ah! the Spriggans and the little Kieran guys. Right. Remember right. Spriggans should be over here. Was it? No, it was not. Where were they? Is it down this way? Oh yeah, this little excavation site. That's what it was. Kieran guys should be over here. Anyways. Let's fuck him up. Go Luna, go forth! Yay! Ah, I can put things to sleep. Ooh. Bring out your dead. Yeah. Explode all of them. Oh, yeah, I guess I should change that. So now I just gotta go get bats. Alright. Bats. Nope. Come on. There we go. That's better. Should be just over here. Ugh. 
There they are. In between all these deadly ants. Get them. Like, why am I not casting? I was so zoned out for a second there, apparently. Can't do that. That's no bueno. Next on the list, Horizon Clutch. It's not these guys. I'm in Western, right? Central? No, I'm in Central. Okay. I'm in the right spot. Well, the right area, technically. Footballs. Oh, yeah, I know where those guys are. Ugh, I gotta go to the dry bone. Rally. Ugh. Just gagged me now. Alright, so now I gotta take out some of these ales. I think with Luna's help, it should be just fine. No! Proud about the tongue. No! Get him! No! Get me out of here! Oof. I don't want that. Oh, for me. Alright. Get him! No! Fuck him. Stupid tongue. Oh, these two guys. Okay, I know where those are. Johnny Test.
There we go. See, this is where you can be like, yeah. I mean, I guess if I want to do an AoE next to me, but I really shouldn't have to be doing that. There. Takes me to that. Now I gotta go over to the western side. After. Oh, I see. I have to go over there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> gotta go beat up these other ants. Apparently the ones in this area aren't the right ones. I gotta go find the specific ones they want. Hey. Eh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta beat up those guys too. Look at me go. I can play this with one hand. Aren't I so good at this? Woo! Okay. Where are here, all those guys? Yep, the rest of these are all in different areas. Okay. Mm, nice. The light is awake. Woo! I guess we'll go over to Horizon. Oh, 
Let's see. I do gotta go back over there. Let's go get some better stuff. So I feel like I could use it. So I apparently sold all my other well level gear. <laughs> So I'm just like running around with practically nothing. And I might want to fix that. Just maybe. Hmm. Alright, so let's get some better armor, because that's always handy. Okie dokie. Hmm, some spectacles. Do, 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 do. I get some for level twelve. Nice. Yay! Now I can just go shablam. Oh yeah, I need my dad jeans back. Give me the jeans. Ah uh, yeah, much better. Magic. I use magic. Because I'm a cool kid now. Luck's got nothing to do with it. Alrighty. Uh, I guess we'll go get the next quest since we're here. Might as well get on with that. See, is there anything that we can learn that we just haven't yet? Scathe. Oh yeah, I forget you get... I get scathed later. And that's it. Okay. Let me talk to you. Guildmaster Kokomui wishes you to learn from the second chapter of Thaumaturgy, The Yawning Abyss. Snitch Bob, yes, the aura of power surrounding you is palpable. The glare begins to blind my Thaumaturge's eye. Your lesson today will be taught by Kokobani. Go to him and hear from the chapter entitled The Threat of Paucity. So, so, Snitch Bob, you come to learn at the foot of the third eldest brother, have you? I promise you, however, your education should not be third rate. Let us read in from the second chapter, shall we? Are you settled? No last moment trips to the privy? Very well. The threat of paucity. Ah, oh, how magnificent the ruthless power we wield. The flame devours, ice and tombs, and lightning courses through the stricken bodies of our foes. But oh, such desperation when the wellspring runs dry. Flame sputters out, ice melts into slush, and lightning sparks no longer. Know you this threat, and mind you the limits of your mortal vessel. A terrifying thought, isn't it? A thaumaturgy as exhausted as arcane reserves is not but a man with a stick and a funny hat. <laughs> For you mages, you may as well equate the etheric energy flowing through our veins as with our very lifeblood. Should a battle find us lacking in this precious resource, we are as good as dead. <clears throat> Controlling the expenditure of your power requires an understanding of etheric balance. Scales can tip in one or two directions, astrally or umbrally. When your mind and spirit lean in an umbral direction, your thaumaturgy is affected by a state known as umbral ice. The potency of your spells is diminished, but they also require less energy to invoke. On the other hand, the thaumaturgy's the astral fire state 
will find the potency of his incantations enhanced, but at a greater cost to his etheric stamina. Now, for the concepts of etheric balance and efficient casting foremost in your mind, I bid you go forth and slay eight Fs. <laughs> Excuse me. Pray do your best to stay alive. It reflects badly on me when the mong corpse or one of my pupils is returned to the ossuary. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Let's see. Okay, it's black brushes. One place I need to go for the quest. And my book needs me to go to the other area. Alright, so let's go do this quest first and then move on. So I bet if I do the rest of my hunting journal, I can get to level 15. And then I can just keep the train going. Yeah, it's just chilling, not giving a care in the world. Get him. Slay them. Make them pay. Need to go over to Western Thainland over a horizon. I also apparently need more water, so I'm gonna go do that. Yeah.
Also, the fuck does paucity mean? Hang on, I gotta look this up. Paucity. Definition. The fuck? The presence of something only in small or insufficient quantities or amounts. Scarcity. Oh. Uh, well, then why the fuck is it called scarcity? Uh, those fuckers trying to overcomplicate things. Do you want to stay, steer into the void? Um, okay. Like, I, I guess? Let me take a look at this! You stinky thing. Where? Okay. Anyway, back to what I was doing. I just had to know. I was like, what that? What was this supposed to mean? I thought maybe it was like, I don't know. I was thinking that they're trying to say the threat of danger, and it's just like, well, no shit, there's danger. <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense. This is just the threat of basically not having enough MP and being like, I'm out of mana. Because that's the thing. Oh no. Guess it's a good thing my fire is better than those little bombs. Take that, stinky. Oops, I don't want to do that first. Oh wait, I guess I only needed two of them? Oh, okay. Well, I need one of the other little bombs, though. Come here. Right there. Look at this person, they're just sitting here crafting over here. This nerd. This is nerd. You crashed in a way, making your armor and stuff. Nerd. Who does that? Because I'm too cool for crafting. I'm all about being in the heat of battle. Hey, let's do this fate since we happen to be here. Oh.
Oh, I see. They seek their level down. Why blazes would they do that? Not by him. some turtles. Yep, that does that. Now I gotta go up there. The footfalls. Actually, why am I doing that way when I can do this? I have enough tickets. It may not be a golden ticket, but it's a ticket. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, it's another feat. Let's do this first. Actually, we can do the feat. It's fine. This archer coming through and being all like, hey, I'm so fucking cool, look at me. I don't have to charge anything, I can just sling arrows everywhere. Fine, whatever. He still not look as cool as me when I do stuff. like that. I'm a cool kid. Let's play a little 
D and D. Okay. I just gotta go to the dry bone area later. Uh, I guess I could do that now. Yeah, that way when I go back into the city, I can accept the next quest. Let's do it. Ugh, but dry bone though. Ugh. Area so dumb and stinky. Everything about it is poop. Also, that's my pinky hurt. What the heck? Do you think? One more. One more. No, don't hand by me. Sandy down there. Yeah. I think I'll find the swarms too along the way. Oh, I got some right here. Perfect. Gotta re up my. There you go, Luna. You gotta feed ya. Feel better? Yeah, 
Yeah, you feel better, don't you? Yeah, who's our sweet chocobo? Use our sweet chocobo. Use that best. Yeah, you. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna flex with me? Oh, yeah. Oh, see? So strong. Yeah, I get it. You're not impressed. It's fine. That's why I can count on you, because you don't fucking put up with my bullshit. <laughs> Alright, so I think the things I'm looking for... Yeah, are over here at the graveyard area. For some reason, killing swarms of bugs is like a hunting thing? Like, I feel like in, you know, at least in our reality, if a swarm of insects is coming at you, I don't think people are gonna, like, stand their ground and be like, let me swing my sword at you or shoot spells at you. Like, nah, we're, we're just gonna be like, nah, fuck that. And bail. <laughs> But somehow these things have like a, I guess, enough of a tangible, um, I guess, being to be affected by all this. I guess using magic on them isn't too far out of the realm of possibility, just because... At least I imagine with fire, I'm like, making the air around them literally explode in heat. So they just like, fry on the spot. But still. But still. Yeah, no. Let's see. Oh yeah, the oh, guys I'm looking for up in that little corner up there. Also, why the heck do I keep experiencing a dry throat so often? I would like for that to just not be an issue. Yeah, no? <sighs> As a kid, I didn't mind having a dry throat, though, just because I liked how it made my voice, like, several octaves deeper at the time. So I just got to sound like I was much older than I really was. But now I'm just like, meh. Let me have my normal voice, please. <sighs> I can start my queue. 19 minutes, oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be a wait. That's fine. This is fine. These parameters are acceptable. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh my goodness, thank you for the follow game girl, I appreciate that. I also have, hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, uh, that's right, I was doing my hunting log. And I have those guys left. Okay. Well, let's get back to the city. Let's get our next quest. I don't know why my ring finger is bothering me. Went from my pinky now to my ring finger. It's not good. It's not a good sign, fam. Alright, let's go to the guild. To the thermometer guild! Now we get to go talk to these dudes. Yeah, how's your day been going there? I know you've been trying to stream it on your own regularly and stuff too. How's that been treating you? Ah. Oh my goodness, someone's name is Lady, Lady Mini Trescu. <laughs> I love it. He arrived before me, upright and breathing. Wonderful. It's so much simpler to pose questions to a student without having to resort to <laughs> necromantic divination. Oh my goodness. Tell me, Snitch Bob, what action would you take if you found your thaumaturgical endurance exhausted in the midst of battle? Ah, uh, okay. It's one of those things where you just gotta keep at it, right? What would I do in the midst of battle? I would flee! Most practical indeed. A discreet withdrawal to await the replenishment in your energies is a sound strategy. But should there be nowhere left to run, a vial of ether could be your status ally. Right? We're all here just to roll forward and do what we can in the meantime. Ah, Aether, the drought of the gods. We thaumaturges, indeed any who have practiced the arts of arcane manipulation, value this substance above all others. Right? Thus it was with this unbridled fury that we received the most recent report of beastman activity. It seems a Amalja raiding parties has attacked a caravan on the trade routes. It made off with an entire crate of precious Aether. It's time come for you to put your new knowledge to the test. Annihilate these Amalja bandits and retrieve the cargo of ether-filled vials. According to the report, their armored war transport was last spotted to the south of Drybone. Ah, and I believe Kokobuki has an additional request. While you are busy in incinerating Amalja, be sure to collect some samples of their blood. Assuming you can draw any from their smoking remains. Back to dry bone, even though I was just there. Oh my goodness. <sighs> ah, there we go. Gotta keep the caffeine intake steady. You don't want to overindulge. Well, even though I can, and I have like a couple days off, so even if I end up staying up until like you know four in the morning, it's not gonna hurt. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to take a nap or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. As Hades would say in Hercules, eh, details. Who needs them? Oh, 
Oh yeah, two streams. Oh boy. Still though, being able to watch fireworks from your window sounds pretty cool. I think where I'm at, I can go to my front porch and kind of like see them in the distance. If they're doing where I think they're going to. But either way, we get plenty of uh, locals that fire off their own. And uh, so you'll have like the odd, you know, big old flash in the sky here and there. I'm just hoping that this year it's not quite as frequent. Because <laughs> there have been some years where it kept going for like almost several months after the fact. Or just one night people just start blazing fireworks everywhere and we're just like, uh... Some people want to sleep at night. <laughs> oh wait, I don't want to be blizzard. I want you to do fire! Burn them! about a mixed bag on that experience damn still being able to have like a whole 360 view of fireworks sounds pretty freaking cool oh, okay that's all I had to do is just beat up those guys for some reason I thought I had one more step to that and then I could take the next quest because I'm sufficient level as I'm... I don't know. I guess I've been doing this pretty efficiently. Oof. That's really rough. And then I can understand wanting to stay inside then and observe fireworks from there. <laughs> Cause screw that. Hmm. Oh yeah, good old bubbly f stuff is gonna cause all kinds of gas. So I'm probably gonna be burping up the storm before we know it. Uh, excuse you person, but you're literally standing over the one guy I gotta talk to. You. Okay, cool. Do I take to the scent of ether? And I trust that stench, Samalja blood. Either in copious amounts of packing hay. Yep. It's so dark. It almost appears black. Ooh. Actually, yeah, I have seen blood that's like really dark like that. It's kind of scary. Usually, though, when it gets that color, it's almost because it's dried up, though. Oh, hold on. 10 values? 20? 30? This side of so much ether is just so very comforting. Oh, so it's a newer area. Well, that's good. Still, it sucks to know that there's like areas nearby that are just having such a rough time. Weirdly enough, we have a gun range uh, in a nearby park. And I think it's Wednesdays is when it's like open or something like that. But it's like Wednesday evening from like 8 in the evening till 10. So like, just randomly throughout that point in the night you'll just hear the echoes of uh, pistol fire. But uh, we also have a lot of people that go to River Bar, like on the opposite side. And uh, you'll hear them, you know, blasting whatever shotguns, rifles, and whatnot out there. Um, I haven't heard it as much recently, but yeah, they just go out there and do their target practice. Oh, okay. Damn. If it ain't one side, it's another, right? <laughs> what I have here, Coco Bonnie, is this crate that was stolen? I see Snitch Bob's lessons have had the desired effect. 
I assume. I will assume the vial of viscous liquid you have there is a beast man blood. Kokobusi should be pleased. Kokobuki, you left word for me to visit Osori. Have you finally decided to begin my training in thaumaturgy? Ah, Boosie, it's good of you to come. Stitch Bomb here is kind enough to obtain a supply of Amalja blood for you. An alchemist acquaintance of mine explained how you had been using the substance in your research to create mana antipulifying elixir. Naturally, we are most interested in the result of such experiments. So you see, Boosie, your work as an alchemist already puts you in a position to work alongside us. You needn't become a thaumaturge to be a part of our family. That's right, Boosie. Besides, the battlefield is a dangerous place, and our skills are not exactly suited to keeping others safe from harm. I see. This is but another attempt to dissuade me from pursuing my true calling. I do not want to cheer you on for the safety of my workbench. I want to fight at your side. <clears throat> Boosie, we, can't just, we cannot stand the thought of you being harmed. Pray do not do anything foolish. I do apologize, brother. I sometimes forget how difficult it must be not having a natural apti aptitude for the arcane arts. As I mentioned before, Snitch Bob, Boosie is dangerously unsuited to the wielding of thaumaturgy. Even with the proper training, he would be unable to ca cast magics as we can. Were he to attempt to force a manifestation of power, the strain on his etheric reserves would likely kill him. Eesh. But let's not dwell on this unpleasant circumstance. For you, on the other hand, are brimming with thaumaturgic potential. Remain diligent in your studies and do not cease in your efforts to expand your wellspring of power. And just like that, he's out. <laughs> he's just peace. That's right, I think I got all the gear I can that is appropriate for the level I'm at. So we're all good there. Yay! Woo! Alright, I guess before... Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a queue. Mm. Will I be able to make it? Yeah, I'm gonna risk it. I gotta pee! <laughs> I'll be RP. Just in time. Whew. I've had the misfortune in the past of uh, basically losing out on my queue because right as I went to use the restroom, I'd come back and it had already run its course. And I'm just like, well, that's not fun. Oh yeah, I'm just a damage dealer this time. I'm used to being in a dungeon as a tank or healer, so now I just get to sit back and 
Just sling spells. This is nice. <sighs> oh, uh, I have that glamoured on actually, so. <laughs> At first, it was just because I didn't want to have, um, like, you know, regular looking armor on, so I wanted it to just have, like, a different look, but I still get all the benefits of wearing proper armor, right? And, uh, then it just became a whole thing of, why are you wearing your dad jeans? And so now I just make it a point to run around in my jeans now. <laughs> That's all it is, it's just a cosmetic thing. <laughs> And I'm having a good time doing it. <laughs> it probably doesn't help, too, that uh, at one point, I think uh, I was playing with a friend, and we went back to one of the main cities, and uh, in the chat for people like hanging around in the area, one of them mentioned, oh yeah, that person's got the same jeans as me. And lo and behold, it turned into us just becoming friends. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like I just need to run with it now. I'm gonna go save the world in my jeans. Oh, yeah. People connect in like some very, very strange ways in this game. But it's definitely a very welcoming community for, I'd say, like, 90% of the time. It's really, really rare. rare. I can pronounce that. Rare. That, um, anyone's just nasty. And even then, it, uh, gets frowned upon very heavily when that kind of thing's discovered. I know, right? <laughs> Maybe he'll become famous. I mean, I guess technically story-wise, uh, the character you play as becomes, like, famous uh, as you progress. At least among all the, like, uh... What's it? The NPC characters and all that. That would be funny though if, like, other people playing the game would, like, recognize me based on jeans. Kinda just turn it into the new popular fashion statement. Oh no, I'm being hit by a thing. Yeah, that's right. You stop that. Oh, that's right. I forgot I have to do my next quest if I want to learn that spell. Dang it! That's not fun. I just want to learn it now! Go all Veruca Salt on it. I want it now. Mm, it drinks water though. Uh, do that. Keep my mana up. All strong, healthy boys keeps their mana up. Just get to hang out. And speech. Oh, I guess the target we had was gone. Okay. 
There we go. Oh. Sweet. Fire to you. <sighs> I did get sweat cast. Awesome. Me? A leather belt? Is that one I can use? Mm, technically I could, but that's not for me, so. That's well, not. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Nah. No, oh, dang it. No, jeez. Everyone keeps beating up everything before you can get to them, so. Mm, take that. They read the note, so I don't know what color we need. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was red. <laughs> oh no, we're being attacked! Guess we gotta fight! Find it to be perfectly okay if anyone's just basically hanging out and lurking. <gasps> Monger! But don't you worry about it there, game girl. If you want to just like vibe and have me in the background, all that, by all means, please do so. I'm just here to vibe as well and sling spells at things and talk about how awesome I am. Because I have a very weird sense of confidence. Also, how are you doing today, monkey? Have you been leveling? Awesome. Hmm. Oh, no. Such words might inflate my ego. Oh no. <laughs> His game is an addiction monkey. Oh, okay. Well, regardless of what you do, game girl, I just hope you enjoy your day and have a wonderful time. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> All the access. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> so you got all Titus as well then? Fellow Strikers Tabard. Of course you give me all the, like, freaking melee gear when I'm playing the caster. You butthead. Oh, okay. That way you can, like, be there to help walk her through it all. That's definitely not a bad way to go about it. For sure. Uh, 
as the beginning part of the story is kind of a slog. Just a bit. It does get better though. It just. Oof. Just oof. <laughs> Answer. Ooh, okay. Is it because you were like trying to figure out what she'd like to do best and it got narrowed down to being a Lancer? Oh, okay. Fair enough. That and you get to do the promoted class of Dragoon, and of course they're all about jumping and being awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the other melee deeps would be the Pugilist. Or at least, well, no, there's the Rogue. And then later you can do the Samurai. Uh, getting a uh, rogue up and then promoting to ninja is fun because you get all the like jutsu stuff And those actually open up some options Nice so you were like right there Still no chocobo. Not until after you fight Ifrit. I know, right? It hurts. But yeah, whatever role you need me to fill for your dungeon keys, I got you covered now. I've been focusing on just leveling other classes while uh, Kyo and I aren't doing the story stuff. So that way when we do get back to it, I can just be like, oh yeah, I feel like playing this class now, so... I can just be whatever I need to be. Even though I'll always go back to my, uh, paladin. Nice. Getting up to White Mage is pretty cool, because it's a, as far as I can tell, straightforward healing class. I just got it to uh, level 50. Oh, nice. So you're like right about where you can start doing dungeons with that. So then you have insta queues. Apparently, I'm gonna have some serious gas today. Also, why is our tank nearly dead? Let's 
this for now. <sighs> Luckily, I don't need to hear anything that's particularly uh, important. It's all just noise. Thank goodness. It'd be different. I was playing a scare again. Then I need to hear all the things. The only person that isn't promoted is our tank. Oh yeah, and me. Duh. <laughs> I'm all thinking I'm already up in the level 30s area. Uh, I just a baby mage. I just baby, no boy. No, no, no boy. Yeah, you too, game girl. I hope you have a wonderful stream. I appreciate you stopping by and just hanging around. This is the extent of what I do. Anytime. queue up again. Get those in between everything. What we got? You are come what? You are come for your lessons, Mitch Bob? Then Oh my Lanta. Then heed well my words. The threat of superiority. Dirty roulette. <laughs> yes, the dirty roulette. Why are we too very lewd and risque things? Ah, how magnificent the intimidating power we wield. Flames sear the air, ice frosts the ground, and lightning flashes with blinding incandescence. But not all are cowed by our elemental fury. Ignite not your flames, summon not your ice, and strike not with your lightning. Know you this threat, and stay your hand against such foes. Once you cut away all the overblown imagery, the passage drawn draws attention to a most an important tactic. Blah, keep trying to add words in there. A wise thaumaturge does not engage in battle against opponents he cannot defeat. A fine example would be avoiding conflict with Uldah's multitude of furious merchants. These soulless, ravening creatures are afflicted with the madness of insatiable avarice. Do you perhaps recall the crate of ether you retrieved from the Amalja bandits? Well, another irate peddlers are 
have arrived at the guild with the gall to demand recompense for the f few measly vials we emptied as our just reward. Alright, yes, we drank the entire bloody box. But the point is that the guild cannot presently afford to pay such a sum. Thus, I pass on to you the secret of my last and most potent defense. Shameless weeping. <laughs> Not speaking of a few tears here, I want you to stride right up to these tyrannical traitors and cry your eyes out. Alright. I forgot that this is what one of the uh, things was. <laughs> I go up to them and I basically go, <laughs> I need my either. Right? The thaumaturgy guild is kind of a bunch of a-holes. <laughs> well, you didn't cry about a few vials either, lad. I'll tell you what, you dry your eyes for me and I'll take care of the loss of my own purse. <laughs> yep, it's always awkward when you just ball your eyes out in front of people. All right, all right, son. I know you're the one, not you're the one who chased down those Amalgam brutes for us. I'll let it go this one time for your sake. I know, right? <laughs> it works for a big burly dude. <laughs> They're looking at me like, you know, I'm some poor thing when I start bawling my eyes out, and I'm like. Okay. Oh, I honestly can't wait until I can be a Dark Knight. Oh, the Edgelord Supreme will happen. Right? You'd think that only worked for the ladies. Apparently, Snitch Bob is very versatile. It's not that. Oh dear, I'm not angry at you, you understand. It's those five ether-addled brothers I take issue with. You tell them next time this happens, I'll have the price taken out of their unprincipled hides. Fair enough. Honestly, I don't know why these guys just, like, straight up drank a bunch of ether, like... I know your etheric energy reflows resurgence naturally. And they can use this this transpose to get it back. <laughs> Greedy little bitches. Whatever. You. A masterful performance, Snitch Bomb. The sniffling was a nice touch. You will, however, encounter foes who are unmoved by such piteous wailings. Right? Take this recent request, for instance, which I have nominated to serve as your next trial. A team of scholars has asked for thaumaturgs to destroy a cursed relic they unearthed known as Mormo's Urn. While pottery is, by and large, immune to tears, it is the Alacran thieves that subsequently stole it that concern me. The Alacran are an organization of criminals not normally known for their gentle or understanding of dispositions. Rather than attempting to engage an entire gang of their thugs, I would suggest you neutralize the threat to your person with a well-timed sleep spell. The Alacrine have been seen traveling in the southeast of Drybone. Find them and destroy the urn they carry. Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, that's right, Marty in the dungeon queue. But from this point forward, no matter what I'm doing, I'm always going to wear these dad jeans. Everywhere. They are coming with me, baby. There we go. Yeah. So important in my jeans. I can't be stopped. <sighs> no! I thought it blocked such things. Must halt. Grrrr! No, I do not have a tucked in polo shirt with new balance shoes. <laughs> that would be nice though. 
Which actually, now I think about it. Wait. Cause swore there is a tucked in polo shirt you can get. I remember now. What was it? Oh yeah. That's something that I've never experienced, but apparently it's really cool. <laughs> you have to battle the overhand. Nice. Cold shirt. No. Oh. oh, there it is. Someone made a Reddit post. Awesome. Oh. What about this one? No! No, not really that. Where are you? I think. No, loads don't be where I want to look. There it is. Where do you get it? Not say where you get it. Only that. Oh man. I never suspenders. Oh wait. Here's what I'm looking at. These. I have a friend that has this particular item. <laughs> and it makes his character look like this. And that's what he wears. <laughs> Suspenders. I'm trying to remember now. Where in blazes? Oh well. I'll try to remember that and then go back to the main city later. I want to do this quest first. Alright, over there. Whee! Let's do it.
Let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. You can't go so straight to the end. We go around this little area first. Yeah. Do I have anything new I can put on? Nope. Alright. That's fine. That's a okay. Yeah, apparently some of these guys are what I need. Hello. Is that only the two of them there? Oh, okay. I was gonna be like, what the heck? <sighs> oh, limbo. Oh, whoa. <sighs> I'm number three in queue. Finally. It's taking forever. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize that was a maelstrom thing. Yeah, good to know. Oops. Yeah, well, it's fine. This is fine. Choo. Let's see, what was that one trait? Magic and Mend. I see. Well, oh, and the thing I gotta do is an instance. Great. Oh, I guess I'll have to wait for my queue. And then I'll go do that. Great. Yay. There we go. Now you can do that. Dope. No. At least it's someone's first time, so that's cool. Alright, get in there. Nope, oh, I don't need that. Oh, my level didn't need to be synced. Nice. I guess that's cool. I 
Come on, do your nail thing. Surrender thyself to the flames of judgment. Alright, so there it is. Ooh, gotta get rid of it. Exterminate! Wasn't very nice. Oh, I don't want to be in that. That would now be fun. Mate, you fucking what, mate? I'm coming up here, getting all up in my biz. That's right. All right. Now that I gotta do, is I really gotta go potty, but. I will have chat with me. So if any of y'all misbehave while I'm away, I will know. I will know. Anyway.
Much better. All right, let's get back into this, shall we? Oh yeah, I gotta do the quest first, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Then we can go back into the queue. Because it won't let me do both. All right. So I can just go, yep. Now! Now. There we go. Thank God. I was gonna be like, this is dumb. Snitch Bob, a moment if you please. Pray allow me to shatter that urn. I, I thought that if I assisted you with your task, that my brothers might finally deign to take me seriously. So I followed you. That's a very really dangerous idea. What we got here then? A couple of nosy sand rabbits that are about to get skinned. Uh oh. Oh dear gods, where did they come from? <laughs> well, apparently your stealth wasn't very good either, so... Simply incredible, Snitch Bob. I wish I could wield the same sort of power. I became an alchemist in hopes of creating some manner of mana amplifying elixir. All my efforts have been for naught. The results have been far too mild to make any difference. I'll never be a thaumaturge like my brothers are. Alright, at this rate, I'll forever be the pitiful, powerless little sibling. Zern. If I destroy it, then maybe my five will see what I'm capable of. Oh, wait, 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 don't me dare break my urn. What the? Did that piece of pottery just talk? Are, 
Are you Mormo the wood scent? Eh, well, yes, I am Mormo, but I am one of the nice void scent. Oops, didn't mean to skip that. I'm not really interested in fame or fortune, but perhaps there is one thing. I'd like to have the etheric power to equal that of my brothers. Power, is it? A perfectly acceptable wish. In fact, I sense the latent ability buried deep within your spirit. It will be a simple thing for me to turn it loose. What more is there to think about? Open the lid. And I just stand there and watch? I don't even get a choice in the matter? I just get to watch all of this happen? feel different at all. I think Morbo may have been lying. Come, Snitch Bob, it's time we were leaving. Oh, weren't we supposed to break this urn? And that was that. Yes, well this will be such fun. I mean, it'll be nice to return home after all this excitement. Yep, totally not suspicious. Alright, now we can do this. Back to the queue. Get to hurry up and wait again. Welcome back, Snitch Bob. I'm glad to see you're making a habit out of not dying. Before we discuss your trial further, however, I would ask you about Kokobusi. I saw him about a few moments ago. He seemed odd. Well, odder than usual. Would you happen to know odd of it? Yeah, he joined me at the trial. Is that your trial? Yep. <clears throat> It is extraordinarily dangerous and foolish to interfere with the Thaumaturge's training. I shall have to scold him most harshly. <sighs> Such unpleasantness aside, I'm impressed that you claim victory in spite of this unexpected development. The teachings of the Yawning Abyss have served you well. With your experience and control thus demonstrated, I believe you are ready to add a new spell to your repertoire. Scathe! This elementally neutral blast of force will prove effective against all manner of opponents. As I'm sure you're eager to test this incantation's efficacy, I shall grant you leave to return to your training. I pity the next hostile creature that cost crosses your path. Okay. Can't do, my dude. Let's do... Uh, actually... Yeah, I'll do the boots. Why not? Dun, 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 dun. Woo! I got another spell! And I leveled. Nice. Hooray! Ooh. 
You're safe. I feared you'd fallen victim to the Mage Slayer. Have you not heard the recent spate of gruesome killings taking place within Ulao? Each case involves at least one dead thaumaturge, and every corpse is found bloody, battered, and utterly drained of etheric energy. Ill tidings aside, I'm glad to see you alive and glowing with vitality. It's time for you to delve into the final chapter of the Yawning Abyss. Coco Boha, our second youngest sibling, will read to you from the threat of perplexity. Greetings, Cinch Mom. Are you once more prepared to pursue the pages of peruse the page of power and peril? Then let us begin. The threat of perplexity. Ah, oh, how magnificent the daunting power we wield. Flames pursue, ice transfixes, and lightning dances into the ranks of our enemies. But what terror descends when, from all sides, those ranks close. Flames are smothered, ice crushed, and lightning grounded. Know you this threat, and where are you the multitudinous foe? Is the point of this passage readily apparent? It would be most problematic, for example, should you meet this malefic mage slayer and he, or she, proves to be multiple murderers. What a thaumaturge needs is a thickest thrall, a thick set thrall, or courageous companion to accompany him in cases where collective cronies are expected. Now as for your trial, pray allow me to suggest a practical course for snitch model's training. Uh oh. The town is budding news of yet more slaughtered thaumaturges. <laughs> Their mutilated bodies found fouling the waters of Nafika's wells. I'd have Snitch Bob aid me in hunting down the culprit while the trail is yet fresh. Snitch Bob may have tolerated your interruption of his trial last time, Boosie, but you are hardly the hardy henchman he needs to clear such a hazardous hurdle. Hazardous hurdle. Your concerns are understandable, brother, but if it would allay your fears, I can introduce Snitch Bomb to a valiant warrior who recently entered my employ. Yes, secure the services of a stalwart swordsman, then that would indeed be in line with learning the lesson of the day, perhaps. Come now, Snitch Bomb, let us be about our business before Kogobo has a change of heart. I'll be waiting for you enough, because Wells. Was that Coco Moosey? Yep, that was them. Well, technically, maybe. I don't know, squat. Oh, wait. Oops. No! Uh, well, I'll spend a couple hundred more or whatever. I forgot that I wanted to go get new armor, because now that I'm at, like, level 20, it's like the next tier, or level tier, or whatever. So, I can outfit myself with some slightly better stuff. This way, I'll have what I need. Hmm. All right, armor, come here. Give me magic. So the headgear I have is fine. What about you? The belt I got is good. Oh, I can't wear a new pants yet. That sucks. Or new shoes. Alright, well. That takes care of that at least, I guess. Alright. Ta da! Alright. Back to Horizon. Away we go. 
I guess it makes sense if the community is like super active because there's a lot of people doing stuff and a million jillion DPS but not enough like tanks or healers. Alright, well, time to do the dangerous thing. Geronimo! Ow. Okay. Ah, oh, Snitch Bob, so good of you to come. My Rodean friend here is the warrior I mentioned back at the Ospari. Now, there's no time to waste. Why don't you head to the stream and examine the bodies of the slain mages? I'll go with you, but my delicate stomach, I fear I might contaminate the scene. Remember, you're looking for anything that might help us track down this killer. Yep. Check to see if there's a new weapon I can get. But I think with this I'll be fine. For the time being. Did you uncover anything incriminating? The blood is yet slick to the touch. The slaughter must have been recent indeed. The villain may yet lurk nearby. Return to the creek where the bodies lay and linger for a time. I dare say your aura, saturated as it is with enticing etheric energy, will lure the mage slayer into the open. How courage, Snitch Bob. Our burly companion stands ready to leap to your aid. Okay. one of these. I saw this work on my hunting log. Ugh, I forgot how many instance things that you had to do in, for certain classes. Ugh, which makes the dungeon queue even harder to do. Mm. 
Hey. Oh, we're almost there. Yay! My dungeon view! Oh... After all that and I get this again. God dang it. Uh, well, let's stay out of that. Now it's stop it. Mm, stinky. Oh, yeah. 
There's a bunch of them. So wait over here. Didn't lie, just me. Ah. All right. So what do we got? We gotta go to the shroud. Western family. Hey, aren't I there? They are here. Okay, meet those guys. Those guys. Man, I gotta go all around the place. Oh, and I forgot to re -cue. Dang it. This whole time I forgot. Uh, I also forgot that I wanted to do my quest. So let's go do that. Let's get it over with. Let's get this stinking business over with, you know? Alright. Right, the artisans I'm looking for over here. Yeah, since I'm already right here, let's do it. <clears throat> Probably take me a little less time that way.
Okay, and so I go after the frogs. Well, at least these guys aren't nearly as hardy. spot. Dang it. <laughs> wow. Much better. Hmm. Man. 
Okay. Someone to raid. So I feel myself ready to go use the restroom again, and I feel like my body is just not wanting to cooperate at the moment. Makes me worried that I'm uh, probably either experiencing, like, I don't know, being sick or something, which I hope is not the case. Does that work? I've been fine, but at home. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> for if I'm gonna have to keep going to and from the restroom, I'd rather not keep doing that on stream. You know, I want to be entertaining. It's been a little difficult for me to figure or focus on that. Um, so yeah. So anyway, let's find us. Let's see. How about let's go and read. Hmm. Play a rod. If it has a starter. I say this has a starter. Alright. Hmm. Who are we gonna read today? Analog TV. Uh, she's currently playing Overwatch. Uh, she's someone that I like to pop in to hang out with. Uh, in the past, she's playing a lot of Animal Crossing, the newest one, and uh, she had a lot of like really cool themed villages and stuff. Uh, I think in between that, she plays other various games like Spirit Fair, and I think she was playing Little Nightmares at one point. I don't remember. Either way. I mean, she does like a variety of games and it's really cool. And I figure, hey, it's been a minute since at least I last remember seeing her streaming. So why not go and see what the heck's up? And give her a nice warm hello. All that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll be at this again tomorrow. Uh, I think I have it set for 2 in the afternoon Pacific time. I was planning on playing some more Fork Knife. Uh, I figured that would be a lot of fun. And uh, I know I'm going to play some later tonight in a, little, a league. But uh, anyway, I can ramble on and on and on. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. And until next time, goodbye. I love y'all. You're amazing. Let's go see what's going on over here. <laughs>